we're learning how to count and represent numbers with base 10. So I have base 10 units right here. These represent one unit. So one, that's one. Then we have two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. So if we put all these together, we should come up with a 10 stick or a 10, um, a tens frame. So what we're going to be talking about is how to count these when we come across them. So we have 10, 20, 30. So that's representing 30. And then we have, these are counted by ones. So they have 31, 32, 33, 34. So that would be represented as 34. So I'd write a three and a four here, and that would be the number 34. I'd like to show you is how we're doing our math problems in class is we have our <coughs> double digit problems that we're working with. Let's give an example of 35 plus 13 equals. So when we look at this, we're looking at the ones place and the tens place. So if we just cover it up and look at 35, it has three tens and five ones. So instead of using these, we're going to use, we're going to represent them with 10 sticks that we, we call quick draw. So we're going to focus on this top number, 35. So we have three tens, one, two, three, and then we have five ones. One, two, three, four, five. So let's recount to make sure we have 35. So we got 10, 20, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35. So whenever we do double digit addition or subtraction, we always start off by writing that top number. Then I want you guys to focus on this symbol right here. We're gonna circle that. That's an addition symbol. It means a plus sign, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a line right here across. And look at right here, if we look right here, it kind of looks like a plus sign as well, right here. So now what we have to do since this is addition is we have to represent this number 13 on the bottom over here. So 13 has one 10 stick and three ones. One, two, three. Now in order to solve this problem, we always look at the ones place first. Okay, we're gonna count up the ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So there's eight ones. And then let's count the tens. One, two, three, four. And four tens. So if we counted them all up, we could count them 10, 20, 30, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48. So 35 plus 13 is 48. And that's how you do double digit addition without regrouping.